Okay, what up with it, traders? Day is over, man. I um was running today, didn't get a chance. I had to do some some other obligations with my uh, college stuff, so I, I wasn't able to get back early enough to make my video. So I'm gonna be quick. It's gonna be brief. I just like to do my recaps every day. Stick with my content. All right. It was actually surprising. There was not a lot of opportunity. It was not this. Let me say it this way. The pre-market was not bubbling like it usually be. Uh, so this was the first time <clears throat> since all of this coronavirus stuff, at least for the stocks that I look at, that that it, it actually was really uh, low key. But anyway, this is what I saw pre-market. Uh, the first one I saw was IBIO, and my game plan was very simple. Uh, so I said the stock is up. On plant-based coronavirus vaccine news has pre-market pivot at 250 and the launch area at 225 the pre-market high is 327 so this means if you don't um, you know for me what these things mean is if the stock depending on where it's at at the open comes down to 250 it's a buy and, and for example if it's lower than 250 right at the open then another location to buy that is 227 and then of course if it breaks out then of course that's the other location so here it is here's what I saw that made me definitively say that I will challenge this stock at 225 which I did um, and then in addition to that um, here's the 250 area that I said this is the pivot I'm gonna see how it comes up and then it comes back and then it pivots from here but it, it was weak it couldn't do so basically it's working down pre-market and essentially I just waited. I just said, okay, well, here's the best area at this point because look, before, prior to open, it was already pretty much hanging around that 250 area. So I just let it be. I put my order in at 225. Thankfully, it rolled right on down, like whatever this is, about 220, and immediately turned back around. And I love these kind of candles because this candle looks like this. When it comes into price action, which is a lot of panic, and it came here to a buy area, and then boom, it just shot back up. So I love this when I get in here because that's what I'm looking for. I want to get out on a candle like this, and I got out at two, two twenty-five entry to like forty-nine exit, but it ran to the to to what I thought it would run to, which was the MA, um, and is what it is. I, I I'm happy. Nine percent trade, I think it was that I made this morning. Um, I'll take 9% all day, every day. <laughs> so I was happy. It could have been more, but you know what? <clears throat> Never complain about walking out with money. It brought some other opportunities, but I had already did what I wanted, and I was done. I was done within the first 10 minutes of the market. I love those days. The other one, C P H I K uh, stock is up on product news. Had resistance at 115. Pre-market pivot at 86. So I'm basically saying <clears throat> I'm willing to buy this at 86 or possibly break out. Um, depending on how the breakout looks, okay. And and when I say breakout, I'm saying intraday breakout. Let me be clear on that. All right. So um, this one, look at this huge candle, huge candle, but with this huge wick. So here, this is at 86, um, and it's fading as well pre-market. And, and look what it does. Boom! It comes down touches 86 and runs I didn't take this trade because I took IBIO had I not taken IBIO I would have been in this trade um, <clears throat> I will get to a point to where I'll be in both of these trades at the same time but I kind of like to really just focus on one and I I thought that the IBIO news was better than this one um, and I kind of feel like this is a pump China pharmaceuticals you know I don't know what you can say about China pharmaceuticals right now, considering that the coronavirus is is is, is pretty much you know something started in their uh, area. So I, I, I was just like, whatever, I'm good. I'll take the other one, and it was good. Both of them would have paid. Okay, so again, this is just me working my plan. Now the key, the key that I want you guys to see is my plan. This popped up like the last two minutes of pre-market, and so literally, I didn't. Um, the volume it didn't meet my volume criteria until like literally last five to two minutes of free market so by the time I saw this I was just like eh, it looks like a breakout but I'm cool unless it comes all the way back to 70 and so I let it do its thing and you can see this is the pre market it broke out it ran to 25 and it came and it kind of hovered and and then it uh 
you know, pulled back a little bit more and, and you know, that and, and it kind of finished weak on the day. But these were the stocks that I was looking at. Um, you know, like I said, 9% winning day. Very happy with that. Just wanted to get this out. I'm going to go ahead and let this render and get myself uh, to bed so we can get up in the morning and do it all over again. All right, my friends. Later.